Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Diversity Travel's video blog. My name's Jamie Anderson and this week the vlog is a little different. I recently travelled to Amsterdam and documented my way through the airport, onto the plane and checking into a hotel to give you guys an idea about what it's like to travel again. I hope you enjoy the film and if you've got any questions please do let us know. I arrived at Manchester about two hours before my scheduled departure time and quickly made my way through security. There weren't any queues at all and the airport terminal was really, really quiet. The flight was called about 45 minutes before departure. So boarding was complete relatively quickly. The aircraft is maybe a third full, so no real issues in boarding. It was all well organised. British Airways board from the rear, so rows 15 to 30 went in first and then the remaining passengers boarded after that. You're given a hand sanitizer and alcohol wipe when you arrive on the aircraft for that extra protection. The crew were really efficient handing out a refreshment pack soon after takeoff and before I knew it we were descending into Heathrow. Just before landing the crew does ask everyone to remain seated. This is so they can control who is leaving the aircraft and they can do it in a socially distanced manner. So I've just gone through a very quick flight connections at Heathrow from a domestic onto an international flight. There were no queues. You are asked to sanitise your hands just before you go through, which is good. Um, the airport does feel quite quiet, um, but everyone is following on social distancing rules and there's lots of announcements to remind people of that too. Lots of socially distant seats available in departures and although it did feel quiet, most of the shops at Terminal 5 have reopened. So something to think about when you're travelling next. So the airport is really, really quiet. I've never seen it this quiet. Um, but I have had a text from British Airways to say I can drop my hand luggage for free because they are expecting the flight to be busy. So. It'll be interesting to see how the boarding process happens on a busy flight rather than a quiet one. So as expected, the flight was completely full. The same boarding procedures apply, whereby British Airways ask you to sit down until your row is called. They did it in rows of five, so it did take quite a long time. I think the whole process perhaps took about 40 minutes, so be prepared to wait a little if you're sat at the front of the plane. The service on board was identical to that of the flight down from Manchester. The crew very efficient all wearing face masks and even the crew were quick to point out anybody that did take their face mask off or indeed wasn't wearing it correctly so that was great to see. So that was a very quick flight over to Schiphol. Um, the flight was completely full and actually I'd not been in such close proximity to people that I haven't that I didn't know for, for ages so a little bit anxious about that at first but you know then it just became a very normal flight after that initial anxiety it was okay so i'm going to head now to the crown plaza so there's absolutely no queue at security at Schiphol, so that was really easy straight out into the train station and heading into the crown plaza again face masks are essential here in amsterdam so i'll be keeping this on for a little bit more Upon entering the Crown Plaza, you are immediately greeted by a hand sanitising station and a list of what to expect during your stay. There's a one-way system in place around reception and the desk itself has perspex screens installed. There are even different holders for cleaned and used pens. In the room, nothing much had changed apart from the TV remote being sanitised and a hand wipe for convenience. Heading through departures and through security at Iskipal is, as always, very efficient and it took maybe five minutes. I decided to go straight to the gate and wait there because I wanted to see how it worked in a foreign airport rather than a home airport. So boarding is very similar to London out here in Amsterdam, so they, were, they fill from the back, so starting in groups of five, 25 to 30, and they had five rows every time. Again, very efficient so far. Must be put under the seat in front of you and only large items into the open locker. Another very quick flight to Heathrow, and again, very similar onboard service.
clearly British Airways have trained their staff well and they're all following a very formulated service to make things safe. So I'm not sure if this is a thing that happens on all flights, but we had border control checking passports as we got off the aircraft. So before we even arrived at uh, passport control, border force were present checking everyone's passports. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's a, a regular thing or just for this particular flight. Unusually for a short haul flight, we arrived at the sea gates at Heathrow, so we needed to take the train. It did feel quite busy on this transfer service, and there wasn't really much social distancing in place. All passengers arriving into the UK, including UK nationals, are required to fill in a passenger locator form. This is an online form on the government website, and you're reminded to fill all of these in on board and as you make your way to security. So I wasn't asked to show my locator form, I was able to use an e-gate but where your passport gets rejected from the e-gates you have to go to a human and that's where you have a full locator check made so the queues to get through there are quite long but um, my passport was okay. Every carousel at Heathrow had a cleaning station, there were antibacterial sprays and tissues to enable you to wipe down the luggage trolleys and to wipe down your own luggage as well. So that's me all the way through security and into the arrivals area at Heathrow's Terminal 5. I have to say, all very well organised. There are hand sanitation uh, stations everywhere. Um, lots of people wearing gloves and masks, so all the staff have clearly been well briefed. Um, so yeah, very, very slick operation here at Heathrow, as you would expect. Um, and yeah, I'll see what departures is like in the morning and hopefully that will be equally as well organised. At departures, you're greeted with hand sanitising stations and also if you need spare mask or gloves, Heathrow also provide these. It felt much busier at Heathrow today. There were lots of queues for various bag drops I only had hand luggage, so I didn't have to use the queues. So Heathrow feels really busy this morning, actually. Much different to how it felt yesterday. Certainly in comparison to Manchester, it's very busy. British Airways have installed a lot more self-service kiosks. This is both self-service check-in and also self-bag drops, whereby you tag your own bags, print out all your own labels. It's worth noting that there is only one security channel available, and that's Security South. So really quick through security this morning, they've got every station open which was good to see and what they've done is they've built almost pods around each place that you put your bags on which helps get people through. There are hand sanitising stations every few yards around Heathrow and this includes the gate areas. On boarding for Manchester, the usual filling from the back occurred. Again, they did this in blocks of 15, given how quiet the flight was. I can't fault British Airways on their processes. They have been slick and constant over the past four flights. Personal hand sanitisation kits and an antibacterial towel were given out on every single flight, alongside a sealed refreshment snack pack. The consistency across all four of the flights certainly added a level of reassurance that I wasn't expecting. So there you have it. I have to say I was really impressed with all of the preparation and the processes that have clearly gone into place to make the airports, the airlines, the hotels safer. We kind of take for granted hygiene and now it's at the forefront of everything that you do. You never forget that you need to sanitize your hands or to keep a distance or to keep your face mask on. So well done to the airports and the airlines and the hotels who've obviously worked very hard in making sure that our travel is safe. So yeah, there were moments of anxiety. You don't get a spare seat next to you on all flights, but of course that is normal. And I think we've just forgotten about that. So I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions, please do reach out to your account manager and do check out our website. We've created a coronavirus hub which has got loads of resources on there, including links to all of the airline and hotel partner uh, safety and wellness pages. So definitely check that out and we hope to see you again soon.